All right, everyone, to start things off, we have a Swampert. We're going to go ahead and switch to Metacham immediately, as per usual. Go ahead, there's a Skarmory. Play that mini game, but only play about half of it. That way, it acts as kind of an insurance, just in case they do decide to, you know, stall or anything like that. This person, though, they don't. They just go ahead and kill us outright, which is fine. In fact, if you guys do know that they're going to kill you outright, you can always kind of stall yourself maybe not throw an extra fast move or two. You don't want them to catch on, but at the same time, you know, it's gonna save more energy for Bastion on the farm down. So that's always a win. Skarmory is down. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna throw this Stone Edge. There it is, quick switch to Victory Belt. We get one attack off. They're going to Obstagoon. And at this point, it's pretty much over. We can kill them with two shields left. They're going to have to bring Swampert out. We'll get another hit in, and this person realizes it and is over and on to the next battle. All right, and just as kind of a little heads up, I did do four sets today. Going to save the last set for later, but this is the very last day of Great League. So we have a Pelipper. They quick switch to Metacham. Our SOP as far as Metacham leads go is when they quick switch to Metacham, we are quick switching to Victory Bell. Going to cost us two shields, but hey, it'll cost them one, and we retain the lead. There we go. We don't get that attack break, but at this point, it doesn't really matter. Go ahead, shield this last Ice Punch, and Metacham is down. Here comes Pelipper. We don't get the Leaf Tornado off, but we do a substantial amount of energy, bringing in Bastiodon, and it is so important that we get just a little bit of energy for Bastiodon. You'll see here in a second. There it is. We get that second fast move off against Galarian Stunfisk, and that will make everything. You'll see here in a second. So they have a one shield left. Obviously, we have zero. They can shield and get that second Earthquake off. But hey, Bastiodon is going to throw that Flamethrower right before they can get the third one off, and that's why it is so, so important. Here comes the second Earthquake. Here comes Bastiodon coming back in, and then here it comes flamethrower here it was so close but hey we got it here comes pelipper and they're gonna have to do a little bit more than two uh, weather balls which unfortunately they just can't pull off right now there's the first one here comes the second one and it's not gonna kill us before we kill it game over really close though really really close all right everybody and now it's time for the third battle this one i do lose uh, as I mentioned, I'm going to go ahead and I'm including all my battles, win, lose, or draw. This one was a toughie. We got hard countered. Not a lot we could have done here. Switch the victory belt at the start. They go ahead. They don't even make an attempt to cover it up and throw in a rock slide. So we're just going to take it. They're going to go ahead. They're going to switch the Venusaur. They shield here, which is fine. Um, at this point in the battle... What we're going to do is just farm them down. They actually, I can tell they're not counting because they are far, far away from, well, unless they thought we had, of course, Leaf Blade. But yeah, this person, they just, there's not a lot we could have done here. Um, we could have tried to farm them down a little bit more here, I guess. But in reality, it just was one of those things where they do have Sableye in the back. And Metacham, even with two shields, just can't do it against Sableye. So we tried to do a little bit of power up punch action here. Just obviously it doesn't work. I thought at the very end I might be able to pull it off, but I forgot how um, little or how much health Sableye had. And in order to get a psychic off against Sableye, it just would need for Sableye to have a little bit less damage. So yeah, it happens. No worries though. Here's the foul play. At this point, I'm just kind of checking something. I've never actually had my Metacham stay in against Sableye, so I just wanted to see what was going on. After all these battles, I still, I usually quit, but I was just testing some things here, seeing what's going on. At this point, they're going to use a Rock Slide. And here it comes. And then, like I mentioned before, had this, had they been at a little bit less health in the red, we would have been fine. But hey, it happens, game over. And it's on to the next one. All right, time for battle number four. And luckily, it does treat us a little bit better than the last one. So to start things off, we have a Hypno. We're immediately going to switch to Metacham because they're switching to Vigoroth. As always, with Vigoroth, use that power-up punch once. 
go ahead and let it hit and then they're going to throw two body slams and you know just let it hit I'm not going to do a whole lot of damage or at least not going to kill us which is the most important thing this person actually doesn't get the second one off usually people will get the second one off not sure if they lagged or whatever but hey it's fine we're going to throw the psychic and then we're going to go ahead we're going to charge it back up and then we're going to throw one last psychic right before we are ko'd and there it is here comes bastiodon we're going to go ahead and send bastiodon in they're going to throw obstagoon in we are just going to shield everything we can here shield number one night slash they're going to get one more night slash off go ahead shield number two night slash there it is and then as soon as that hypno comes in we're going to throw this leaf tornado as a form of insurance just in case they have focus blast we didn't get that attack break but hey we were able to kill each other bastion i was in the back and so it counts as a win all right here's the next battle and we do lose this one unfortunately the first set was three and two and then i think i have a four and one a five and oh and a three and two so not too bad not like amazing but still i'll take it we switched the metacham they switched to sableye a lot of people have sableye in the back and that seems to be our detriment along with flying types but hey it does get better there's a power up punch i kind of break with tradition normally i do power up punch then psychic but it's always good to try things that are new and i figured hey why not there it goes foul play we are down we're bringing bastion on back in Bastiodon just going to absorb this attack and then they're going to get one more foul play off here it comes and then we're just going to keep farming Sableye down as we always do all right we're going to throw this stone edge there it is bring in victory bell victory bell is going to absorb this surf wasn't sure what they had in the back but hey um, it was a trevenant and there's not much we can do here just because um, Lantern with uh, Trevenant and Sableye is something that our team really struggles against, but luckily it's not as common as you would think. We do get the attack break though, and it is game over. All right, now it's time to start the next set. So to start things off, we have a victory belt. Go ahead, start farming. Here comes Lickitung. I'm gonna go ahead and let this one hit us as always with Lickitung, it's been a while charge up that psychic but use a power up punch it's going to force the shield here it is they think that they're going to gain the lead and so we use the power up punch just to kind of make it one shield versus one shield because we always have to shield against lickitung i'm going to go ahead we're going to shield this one here and now just keep punching away there we go and then they're going to go ahead they're bringing the lantern in so we're going to throw this psychic right now we are in a great position there is very little that can stop us and now we're throwing in um, Victory Bell here. They're going to go ahead. They're going to get an attack off against us. Let it hit. Not much that can be done. Here comes their Victory Bell. We're bringing in Bastiodon. Bastiodon is going to throw this Flamethrower. And they're going to go ahead and use their last shield here. We're going to go ahead and just keep plugging away. Let this attack uh, shield, of course. And so at this point, it is over. On to the next battle. All right. And here we go. So for this one, we have Bastiodon versus Deoxys. And as always, we're going to switch to Victory Bell. This person actually switches out before they get a charge move off, which is really rare. I honestly rarely see that happen. And then we have uh, Noctowl that just absolutely decides to use that charge move very early, which is great news for us because Bastiodon is coming in and Bastiodon is going to do its thing and farm it down like crazy. They get one last Shadow Ball off, and then there we go. All right, now we have Deoxys. They're stalling the clock just a bit, but hey, Obstagoon's coming back in, and that is good news. We're going to go ahead. We're going to throw this Stone Edge. We're going to get one more Stone Edge off. There it is. And they shield this one. Great news. Metacham is coming in. Here is Deoxys. So... We're going to go ahead and use this psychic here they don't shield which is huge we're going to shield this because we know absolutely it's going to be a thunderbolt they're not going to throw psycho boost this early and break their attack it's just not going to happen we throw one last psychic 
I almost thought of baiting them here, but hey, we get rid of their shield and now they're down to zero shields. They have to throw another Thunderbolt. And now we're gonna go ahead and they're gonna get a Psycho Boost off here, but hey, it's no problem. We throw the Power Up Punch. There it is. And then they quick switch and that just does a huge chunk of damage and it's no problem. We get one last attack off. The Oxus is back. We get one punch off and that made all the difference. It is game over. That was actually a really close one, but you have to be adaptable with the Oxus. That really threw me off guard, but hey, it happens. And yeah, we pulled through it and we went ahead and got the W. So we're gonna go ahead, look for the next battle. It's gonna take a minute, but hey, we're just gonna keep on looking. And finally we get somebody. So for this one, we have a Walreen. They automatically right off the bat, quick switch to a zoom reel. We're quick switching to Victory Bell. As always, just go ahead, keep plugging away. Use one shield here for that ice beam. But other than that, just kill it with your fast. They stall for a few seconds, which is totally normal. We're going to go ahead, we're going to throw this Leaf Tornado. Now, they do not shield here, which is big, because they're trying to save their shield, but hey, it's fine. Now, we're going to use our last shield here and kind of go on the offensive because we almost had another Leaf Tornado left. We know they have to shield this one, which they don't, but hey, we get the attack break and there's not a whole lot they can do. It is game over. Bastion comes in for the boop. On to the next battle. And that was a really good one. We got really lucky there. It's just when it is at that point where you just do so much damage, you know they're going to shield the next one. And if they don't, it's game over. So that's why we played, played the last one a little bit more aggressively. So we quick switch to Victory Belt. They quick switch to Nine Tails right off the bat. Here's the thing. They messed up. I'm not sure if they had an ice attack on their Nine Tails, but that charm just isn't going to do it for Victory Belt. We go ahead and we take care of them. So we have gained the lead. Go ahead, throw this Leaf Tornado here. Here it comes. And they use their last shield and we get the attack break, which is great news. They're gonna go ahead and get a Psychic off. But with that attack break, there's not too much it can do. So they go ahead and they get yet another Ice Punch off. Well, another Charge Move off. Here comes the Psychic. Gonna go ahead and KO them here. And then at the very end, they have Toxapex. So we're going to throw this Psychic. It's going to do a good chunk of damage. At this point, the game is pretty much over. We can send in Bastionon, and Bastionon can just do its thing. And that will be that. They get one last charge move off, though. No need to shield. Bring in Bastionon, and it is game over. Well, after this last, last brine. <laughs> and there it is. On to the next battle. All right, now that was a close one, and I think they just probably thought that their Nine Tails had a different move, but hey, it happens. We all make mistakes. So we have a Bastiodon lead. We go ahead, we use our normal mirror match strategy. Whenever we see a Bastiodon, I just automatically assume it's going to be a mirror match, although recently there have been a lot of variations. I've seen the, you know, Bastiodon with double grass in the back, and I've seen um, like a fire like tropius well i guess that counts as grass but just to let you guys know there are other variations out there as well as bastiodon victory bell and sableye so go ahead do our normal thing where we double charge it use an attack then keep on double charging it right here they go ahead and they throw a little early which is totally fine that means we're going to go ahead we're going to switch to metacham they're bringing in knockdown use that power up punch and then get that psychic and get it off there's one, they're gonna throw this wing attack. I'm sorry, sky attack, excuse me. So right before we die, we're gonna get the psychic off here. There it goes. They shield, which is great news because now they're down to one shield. We're bringing in Bastiodon. We're gonna go ahead and absorb this shadow ball. No problem. Go ahead and throw this stone edge. And this will do it for knockdown. So they are gonna go ahead and they're gonna bring in Metacham, we are quick switching to Victory Bell. Their Metacham is just going to keep plugging away. Shield this attack. They're going to bring in Bastiodon, but hey, we're going to use this Leaf Tornado here. They are going to use their very last shield to shield it, and they're not going to get off two. They can only get off one 
of the flamethrowers because they didn't double charge it. And good news is we've done enough damage to where we can get off another leaf tornado before Metacham kills us. There it is. We don't get the attack break, but hey, it's fine. Bring in Bastion for one little boop and it is over. On to the next battle. All right, that was a super close one. We went 5-0, which is great news. Next battle, here comes another Victory Bell lead. Starting to see more and more Victory Bell leads. I think people are starting to switch up their teams a little bit because they're becoming stagnant. But hey, it's totally fine. Let this Leaf Tornado hit us. We're going to go ahead and return the favor with a Flamethrower here. There it is. We're going to switch to a Victory Bell of our own. And I think they were trying to get Sludge Bomb off here. It was really close, or at least a Leaf Tornado. And they bring in Umbreon, so we're going to go ahead and throw this Leaf Tornado of our own. They shield, so it is 2-0 as far as shields go. We're in a pretty good position. We're going to go ahead, let Victory Bell die, and then bring in Metacham. They are bringing in Lantern. Use this Power Up Punch because it takes one Power Up Punch and one Psychic to kill this Lantern with zero shields. Go ahead and let this one hit us. Just going to be a Surf here. We're going to keep charging on on up, and they're going to throw... Another Surf, but I wasn't really sure, so I decided to shield it, which is totally fine. Here comes the Psychic. Now Lantern is down, and it becomes a matter of their Umbreon versus us. Now, we decide not to shield here just because this cannot kill us, that foul play. They do get that off, though. Metacham is on its last leg, but hey, it's totally fine because we throw one last Power Punch, and it is over. And that is that. On to the next battle. All right. We are 1-0, and o, which is great news. believe this set I end up going 4-1. and one. But hey, 4-1, and 5-0, any of those is great. Even 3-2. and two. Anything that nets you points is good news. So, start things off, we have a Pelipper. We're going to go ahead and we're going to use our fast attack. They quick switch to Stunfisk. We are going straight to Metacham, as always with Metacham. Use that Power Up Punch, use another Power Up Punch, and never shield unless they do. Here comes the Earthquake. I've seen this scene play out so many times, I actually dream about it. I can't even tell you how many times I've seen this happen. Here comes the Rock Slide, not going to kill us. There it is. Pelipper's going to come back in, make sure to get off one last Power Up Punch just to do a little bit of damage against this Pelipper, since Psychic is not available. There it is. Bastiodon is coming back in. They immediately quick switch to Scrafty. We are switching to Victory Belt. Go ahead and make sure to shield both of these attacks. Usually they will bait you with that Power Up Punch, but better safe than sorry. So they get one last attack off. This will be a foul play. There it is, and then we're going to throw this Leaf Tornado to try to break their attack, because the less attack, the better. We get the attack break, and then it ends up being just, um, yeah, a victory for us. On to the next battle. All right, time for the next one. And we have, I believe, a Registeel, which is a very tough, this was a tough battle. They played it really well. So we have a Registeel, a shiny Registeel. We're going to go ahead and switch to Victory Bell. Unfortunately, Bastiodon was really excited, wanted to get one fast attack in before it switched. But hey, can't blame the guy. So go ahead. They're going to Shadow Ball it here. Just bring in Bastiodon and start farming it down like crazy. There's no need to do a shield. There is no need to use a charge move, if we even could. Just farm it down. And there we go. I'm going to go ahead and throw this Flamethrower here and Registeel. Lucky for us, isn't going to shield. And then we're going to keep charging a little bit, bring in Metacham as soon as we can. Here comes Pelipper. We're going to charge up that Psychic, but we're going to use the Power Up Punch. We know that they cannot allow our Metacham through, so that's prime opportunity for baiting. We're going to go ahead, we're going to shield this here. It ends up being a Weather Ball, but hey, totally fine. Let this second one hit us. It's not going to KO us. Now throw that Power Up Punch again. Try to bait them again. They fall for it, which is great news. We're going to go ahead and we are going to throw this Psychic. So this will do it for Pelipper. So there it is. Registeel is coming back out. We're going to go ahead and we're going to get off this Flamethrower as soon as we can. Unfortunately, they do get that Zap Cannon off. It does break our attack. But hey, we still 
get the flamethrower off, and all it takes is a couple of more fast moves, and it is game over. All right, time for the next one. That was another close battle, and hey, it definitely happens. Seeing a lot of the same stuff, but the meta is starting to open up a little bit and be more favorable to our team here, which is great news. So here comes the champ. I believe I lose this one, but hey, as always, it happens. They quick switch to knockdown. We're going to go ahead and just let it hit us. Nothing we want to do. We don't want to shield here. There's the sky attack. We're bringing in Bastiodon. on. Go ahead and as always, just farm this knockdown down. There's a Shadow Ball. Go ahead. They're going to throw one last Shadow Ball, but hey, it's totally fine. There it is. Go ahead. As soon as Metacham comes in, throw that Flamethrower here. There it is. We're going to bring out our Metacham of our own, and they're going to go ahead and they're going to uh, throw this Psychic. Had I shielded here, I should have shielded here. That was my big mistake. Um, they didn't switch, so that means there's something in the back they don't want us to see. So had I to do it over again, I would have shielded that first Psychic, and we would have been golden. So we get that second one. They're going to go ahead, and it's just too little too late. They do have a Registeel on the back, but there's not much I can do here, uh, especially with this little bit of health and with zero shields. It was a close one, though. Super close. I wasn't sure. Maybe they had Bastion on. But when I saw that Registeel, it was just a matter of, yep, yeah, not much I can do. Time to quit. And it's on to the next battle. So yeah, big takeaway there was to have shielded that Psychic. I should have done it. I didn't. But hey, we all make mistakes. Here's a Swampert. Go ahead and switch to Metacham. They are switching to Frostlass. They will kill us before uh, we get that Psychic off, which is totally fine. So here's an example of them stalling. What we're going to do is not use this attack because we want Bastion to come in and farm them down. They are stalling here and we're not going to do anything except for bringing Bastion. All right, and Bastion is going to get a total of one charge move ready to go. They throw an avalanche, no problem. Here comes that Swampert and use that Stone Edge like crazy. There it is. We do a couple more fast moves and then boop, here comes Victory Bell, and then they're going to go ahead. They're just going to try to kill us. We say, no, thank you. Go ahead, throw this Sludge Bomb, and it hits, and then it is game over. Really, really good victory. Really close. All right, now we're stuck against an Assumeril. So, hey, it happens. I believe, yep, I lose this one, but it is close. I should have switched to Metacham, but they do have a Sableye in the back, so there's not a whole lot that we could have done. I quick switch to Victory Belt just to try something new. They throw this Ice Beam. Here comes Noctowl. So they had an Azumarill Noctowl Sableye team, which is another tough team. But hey, it happens. We're not seeing as many of these teams as before. So that's great news. Was able to overcome a lot of the other teams since people are building against this team now. Instead, before when Week 2 started, we saw a lot of people building against our team. But people now are starting to build against this team, which is great news for us. All right, Noctowl is down. Go ahead, throw this Stone Edge. There it goes. And then we're going to go ahead and we don't get it off. My counting was off, but hey, it happens. Hydro Pump, I'll let it happen. See that Sableye and it is game over. On to the next battle. All right. Luckily, we had a bit of a bad luck last night, but it happens. Deoxys lead. So go ahead, quick switch to Victory Bell as always. They're going to bring in Lickitung. I make a huge mistake and I tried to get that Sludge Bomb off, but it just didn't happen. I thought for sure it would let me get it off, but for some reason it didn't. Normally I can get it off, but hey, I should have just stuck with the Leaf Tornado. That was my bad, folks. Power Whip, and we're just going to farm it down. Don't even worry about using a charged move. Just farm that thing down. Here comes Deoxys. Use that Stone Edge. There's one quick switch to Metacham. They aren't quick switching, so that is good news for us. Use that shield. We do not want to get caught with a Thunderbolt. We're going to go ahead. They're not quick switching, so I'm going to use a Power Up Punch just to bait them. And it works, so we know for sure they have something in the back they don't want us to see. Try to bait them again, but we don't get lucky the second time. There it is. 
and now it's just a matter of using that power up punch to do as much damage as we can. There it is. They do get another charge move off here, but I decide not to shield just because I want to save that shield for whatever's in the back. And then they just quit. It is game over. All right, we've been really lucky against those Deoxys leads. And you know, hopefully that luck continues, but you never know. We have a Bastion versus an Obama Snow to start things off. So they're going to go ahead, they're going to switch to Sableye. We are switching to Victory Belt. Shield that charge move. Don't worry about using one of our own. Just use that shield and then take care of Sableye. If you do get a lag or whatever, then you're going to want to use a Leaf Tornado because it is so close. Um, they have to, have to, have to um, shield our Leaf Tornado. And if we do get lag, that means that they're going to get two charge moves off. So, yeah, always a bummer when we get that lag and they quick switch to Sableye. Costs us two shields, but at the very least, we'll retain the lead and it costs them one. So we have a Metacham here. Go ahead, and we're both down to one shield apiece. They're going to throw a power-up punch trying to fake us out. We don't bite. It is game over. And on to the next battle. That was a really, really good fight. Um, starting to see some more Obama Snow, which tracks with, you know, all the knockdown and stuff like that at the start. So here we go. We have an Altaria lead. One of the few good leads we've had all day, besides Obama Snow. They quick switch to Lantern. We're bringing in Victory Bell. Just as always, keep plugging away. Don't worry about this surf. They're going to throw one more before they KO us. But hey, totally fine. Victory Bell will emerge extremely scathed, but not dead, which is the most important part. They wait down the clock just a bit. Here comes Altaria. Don't get anything off. But hey, that clock is still ticking, so I wanted to get some energy out of them. Try to get at least one flamethrower, which we do get close to. And they switch to Metacham, so we are switching to a Metacham of our own. Go ahead, let this Psychic hit us. We're going to return the favor, throw another, well, our first Psychic, but another Psychic. There it is. And then they quit. It is game over. 